So we just went to a sex shop and for educational purposes. Yes, of course, education purposes. And we actually learned a lot about artists. Um, crap, what was the artist's name? <laughs> We were walking by and both of them just like stop and go, shut up. Because we haven't seen Patrick in like oh, years. Oh, okay. so, like, what were these strings? Uh, <laughs> no, uh, dark chocolate, which one? Patty? Fresh peppermint and patty. Gracious. And Named after you. If you guys ever come here again, um, if you get two, so we have two different sizes. We have the normal size and the itty bitty. If you get two itty bitties, it's the same size as our regular scoop. Okay, I was gonna, cheaper. I was gonna say. So, I'm giving you four itty bitties and it'll save you two dollars. You just call me the itty bitty tailor man. <laughs> I won't. Tell me about the book you're reading, sir. It's called The Secret and it's pretty revelating. Oh, yeah? I keep saying revelating like it's a word. Is it revelating? Revelating, <laughs> right? Revolutionary? No. Maybe. I don't know. It's about the law of attraction, which is just. Do you have the issues law with that? Of love. The law of attraction. Yeah, it's about what you put out, you get back. So, yeah. you, so you put out dick, you get back dick. You put out dick, <laughs> you get more dick. It's pretty simple. It's by Rhonda Bryn. Bryn. He's like that's oh God, that says Rhonda. No. And the destination is 1.9 miles. You guys don't know how to get to the pleasure chest? No, no, we don't. We don't go home. all the time like some deviants. I've been twice in the, in the four <laughs> out years I've lived here. Patrick, how many times do you go to a sex shop each week? Huh? She's an idiot. I mean, the secret, you gotta put dick out to get dick in, right? It is Friday afternoon and we are taking Reese for a nice hike in Burbank. And yeah, it rained while I was in GameStop pre-ordering the Nintendo Switch. And it's not too bad, it feels really nice. I hope this looks good on camera as it does in person because this is really beautiful. Well, enjoy this time lapse. Of them and they would 
pissed off, you'd be like, no, I don't like how you did that voice there. Yeah, obviously, it's like, it's so low stakes, so, like, low money, that nobody's gonna do it. Really? Unless it's like, you know, the random ninth Harry Potter book that's her eighth, uh, that just like, she's like, I wanted to continue the story, here's Harry Potter and blah, blah, blah. I mean, still, they're gonna just, when, if someone's listening, it's just, the, if someone's directing an audiobook, they just listen for if you make a mistake, like, textual, or if your voice breaks or something, and they're like, can we do that again? They don't say like, I don't like, do this How voice better. Yeah. Or like, we were actually they don't do that. Her and I did get conned by Scientology. Yes, <laughs> oh, okay. we went. To, we were going to see a UCB show. And UCB is right across the street from the Celebrity Center. And we parked and we were walking over. And they had this huge like uh, sandwich sign out saying, like, uh, free tour of the Celebrity Center. Like, this place looks amazing on the outside. I want to see the inside. Why not? And so we were just going to go for a tour. And then obviously they were selling to us. And they are really good. Yeah, they are. Yeah, they really are. Of course they good are. With their pitch sales. Just put my phone in there and used it. <laughs> That's another thing, is like this is helping me with my editing skills as well. So, uh, yeah, so this isn't just so much like I'm making a vlog. It's like, no, it's helping me with my skills and my, my actual. 